Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, Gatons with Scar here, and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel called Sky Architecture. Now, Sky Architecture is a series where we tour five beautiful designs in Minecraft to inspire your own Minecraft building. What you'll do is you'll choose your favorite design of the five, and then we will create a tutorial at the end of the week. In this particular episode, number one, we are touring five modern kitchen designs. I'm very excited about this new series as it's a way to demonstrate our interior designs or our exterior designs, houses or anything along those lines in a faster and easier to digest series of videos instead of a 32 part, you know, tutorial based on a modern house. So I really hope you guys like this new series and let's get into our first design. And let's start our tour. And this is kitchen number one. And when I design these kitchens, I also like to sometimes think about who may live in this kitchen, who would like to buy it. And this particular kitchen, if it was for sale, I figure Steve Jobs would have bought a kitchen like this. This is a kitchen that I figure he would have liked. Very minimalist, very clean. So let's take a tour of the design. So as you can see, we're using the dark oak as a very dark walnut design. And then we have a light oak as the top as a two tone cabinetry, which I think looks really cool. As you can see, See, we have a band of dark oak at the top highlighted by of course our window which is made up of glass very seamless and beautiful and the backsplash my friends that of course is the bone block very beautiful and it looks like a solid piece of stone we're also using the bone block as you can see as an abstract refrigerator which looks much better than a trap door or two blocks of iron or something along those lines and as you can see the countertops are have a little more depth built into them as you can see there's a half slab and a stair attached to it and then there's a row of stone on the back end as you can see three stoves over here and of course our sink built into our island and one of my favorite aspects of the design of course is the lighting fixture which is an end rod attached to a bone block once again as you can see I've got a bit of a thing for the bone block and uh, it looks like if we get really close to this doesn't it look like fabric where you could take the bone block and create almost a stone feel as a backsplash a solid piece of stone or you could even go in a way of thinking that is fabric and it is a lampshade so as you can tell the bone block of course doesn't cast light but the end rod does so you can use anything now as kind of a hanging light attached to an end rod which i absolutely love and there we go my friends that is kitchen number one the jobs kitchen let's move on to our next one and welcome to kitchen number two and as you can see it is still within a modern design but i've tried to incorporate a little more detail into it now this kitchen would only be really beneficial for a one-story house well because it's got skylights at the top creating a beautiful natural light so as you can see we have a concrete floor in our other kitchen we had more of a travertine design and as you can see this cabinetry is very highly detailed with a lot of depth and detail built into it once again the counters are a depth of two blocks and then the backsplash is oak this time which I think looks very beautiful two refrigerators we got a freezer and a refrigerator built up separately so max capacity I suppose and I just love looking up and seeing the beautiful clouds and the sun above so let's move over here and as you can see we have our stove built up with two windows on either side with the bone block once again as our backsplash so one solid piece of stone you could even add some little color in these little corners back there there's our stove with areas for pots and three pendant lights and of course our sink built into the island very very cool now finishing off my friends we have a breakfast nook over in the corner so we have windows on either side and of course a hanging light bench seating so one solid bench with two pads on the back and there we go my friends that is kitchen number two and moving into kitchen number three this one is very interesting in the fact that it doesn't have a back wall the reason being is I wanted this kitchen to almost act as a modular kitchen where you could attach it to a living room or you could attach it to a dining Dining room. That's why I opted not to build a wall along this side for our kitchen number three. So what do you guys think of that? I think that's a kind of interesting idea so you can kind of attach it to really create an open feeling within your designs of your kitchen. Now let's look a little bit more in depth at the design. As you can see we've gone with quartz as our backsplash. We've got upside down quartz uh, pillar blocks which I think looks really cool. Very reminiscent of our fishing cabin in Scarland. That was where the, a lot of this design was inspired by. And then on the upper level here as you can see the cabin entry a very dark um, design which looks very very cool next to the bright white of the quartz which makes up the backsplash and then inside the cabinets my friends as you can see there's some trap doors with some pots and some pans and I suppose some cereal boxes back behind the trap doors which I think looks very cool um, as you can see take a look over there my friends get close um, as you can see there is ice
ice. Oh, there's a little horse out there too. Um, there's a ice as our windows. And I love this little sliver of a window above our refrigerator on this corner over here. Now let's take a look at our range hood. As you can see, we've gone with the andesites going upwards and then two stairs and then carpet on top, I think makes a really cool range hood above our stove. And then two little chairs hanging out on the back so you can have somebody hang out with you while you're cooking here in kitchen number three. And welcome to kitchen number four. And this is one of my favorite designs because it incorporates all of my favorite blocks within Minecraft. Let's start at the top. We have our dark oak moving into our quartz. We have our cyan clay. We have our spruce. And of course, topping it all off down at the corner, we have the milkshake maker. So let's tour this place and get an idea what's going on. So once again, we've gone with a very clean, minimalist flooring, similar to maybe a polished uh, concrete. We have our spruce cabinets over in the corner here. Um, let's move over to our range hood, a very beautifully detailed range hood above our stove. Milkshake maker, of course. Moving on over to this corner here, we have a slightly different kitchen sink design. As you can see, it's more of kind of a modern farm sink, if you will. Think of a farm sink as usually a very large white porcelain sink built into cabinetry. This one's just uh, built a little bit more in a modern style, a little less round, a little more squared off. So I think that looks really cool. We have, of course, our island made up of the one, the only bone block, of course. And then, as you can see in the back here, as our cabinets are usually designed with an extra bit of depth where we pull the cabinets a little bit forward. So it's two blocks of depth. And then, of course, a carpet along the back acting more kind of as like a slate tile transitioning into wood. I think that would be a really cool real life cabinetry design. And of course, the cabinets up on an upper level here are all open design. So pots, pans and things of that nature would be um, out in the open. So you'd have to be a slightly cleaner person to have this kitchen. Uh, maybe not the best for me. So uh, you'd have to be fairly organized and have, I guess, some nice looking pots and pans, I suppose. And then there's also a little shelf above at the top right at there. And for the lighting, as you can see, we opted to go without the bone block. So I decided when looking at it, I was thinking, you know, we got to mix it up a little bit. Let's try glass this time. And this is uh, opens it up a little more, as you can see through. And glass seems like something that may illuminate with light. So I think that looks pretty cool. And it's just fun to be able to use the actual end rod and create kind of a light source of your choice, you know, glass, bone block, anything. Uh, I think it's a really cool way of incorporating design. So my friends, this of course is design number four and let's go on to our final kitchen. And welcome to kitchen number five, our most, in my opinion, put together kitchen. I feel like with all the designs that I put together for this one, this one kind of takes all of the best parts of the other kitchens and combines it into this one. You might notice that one texture is a little bit different and that's because it's part of my texture pack and that is the smooth stone slabs. I removed all of the dark bands around it to make a solid seamless concrete block. And you know, if you don't have my texture pack, if you're building along with some of these designs, using a stone slab, it will look just as nice and it'll even kind of in certain areas even look better. Um, but let's give a bit of a tour. As you can see, we have our beautiful, beautiful sink. This is definitely my favorite kitchen sink as it feels natural to me as the, over by the actual sink head or whatever it's called. Um, that's like where the garbage disposes, where you wash your dishes and stuff. And then you put them over to dry over in the larger section of the sink. I think that came out very nice with, um, you know, cabinetry built up on the sides. As you can see, the bone block, our favorite block in the world now is back behind the kitchen as our backsplash. And then we have this really cool extra layer of carpet above that. Doesn't that look really cool? And then moving over to our range hood, using that particular block, like I talked about, creates like a really seamless design, which I absolutely love. Um, and like I said, if you are using the default texture pack, it looks also cool in its own way. Um, and then of course, our iron trapdoors going across. And then of course, the beautiful island built up and ready to go. We have our kitchen refrigerator over here. Now the cabinets in this area are once again, that open style where you put your pots and your pans and things of that nature in the open. Um, that might not be the best for me, like we said in our last kitchen, um, but I definitely think it's a beautiful design. And once again, there is our range from the back end. And there we go, my friends. Like I said, this is kitchen number five. So let's go down the row and have a recap. And I'd love it if you guys let me know in the comments which one your favorite kitchen is. So like I said, this is kitchen number five. And now we're going to move on to our next modern kitchen. As you can see, that's where we used our spruce and we used a different light source at the top. We have a beautiful kitchen sink design in there. Also very open cabinetry. Our modular kitchen inspired by our fishing cabin project in here with of course our quartz backsplashes and our cabinetry behind trap doors. Very, very cool and love that modular style. That of course is kitchen number three. And this here, 
is kitchen number two. Our very detailed modern kitchen for a one-story house, breakfast area to eat, and all sorts of really, really beautiful designs. And we'll finish it up, my friends, with the Jobs Kitchen. We'll head over to the Jobs Kitchen once again. And this one is designed to be very, very minimalist, very clean design. And the pigs, the pigs, they just love this one. They can't get enough of this kitchen. And there we go, my friends. That is all five kitchens. I would love it if you let me know which one your favorite is so that we can create one super awesome tutorial in our next episode. And I very much hope you enjoyed this new series here on the channel called Scar Architecture. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and we'll see you later.